Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Kenyans have been very patient with William Samuel Ruto for long. But seemingly it has reached a time, they are now deciding that the only language we can speak with William Samuel Ruto is just through demonstration. Maybe that is the only language he might understand. Yesterday and the previous day, we were talking about demonstration that was happening in Rift Valley. The other one was happening in Mount Kenya. But again, as we're speaking today, we had also another group of Kenyans living with disabilities demonstrating in Kiambu County, Mount Kenya region. I am surprised that in this government, we have registered people who are living with a disability, but the government has no any plan to take care of their interest. It's like they assume like everything is okay. They don't care how these people are eating. They don't care if these people have jobs. They don't care how these people are living. They will keep on doing their things. First of all, watch this video as the people with the disabilities were marching to the Kiambu governor's office, Kimani Wamatangi, and then from there we'll continue with this discussion. Now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers. I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Our constitution is very clear that no Kenyan should sleep hungry in this country or die from hunger when we have a government. It is the responsibility of the government to make sure that all Kenyans have food to feed themselves. Those who don't have food, the government must provide for them. Surprising, we have people with disability. Of course, they're educated. You can hear how they talk. But this William Ruto government is giving these people a blind eye. They assume like there's nothing. Raila Odinga, I think, Raila had a plan. He was talking about 6,000 shillings per family. That's what to take care of the poor families, the, the, the old people, and of course, people with a disability are in that group. Imagine these are registered people. Because once you have a kid who is disabled, normally they are enrolled a program. They are registered. These people should not even be taxed if they are doing business. In case they are even doing importation, they should not be taxed on anything. 
these are exempted group of people from taxation but the government is not taking care of the interests of these people imagine it has reached a level where a disabled person is coming to demonstrate just asking for food they don't have rent they cannot take their kid to school and we have a government that is bragging that they are they are, they are meeting their a KRA revenue collection in this country. Imagine all this is happening when William Samaruto's office, the office of the president, has spent a budget meant for one year in six months' time. I'm a Kulayote budget in six months' time. And I analyzed yesterday. If you don't if you did not watch that video, I will pin it here so that you go and watch. Right now they are seeking for supplementary budget. More than five billion shillings to add on eh, what they have already spent. So that it can now complete the remaining six months. You are fungi mark. Overspending, excessiveness, yet we have people with disability who don't have food. Look at that. Then you'll find these people are organizing for interdenomination prayer events. In that prayer event, they are spending money to bribe these pastors, bishops, and priests. Where did we get wrong? Which kind of prayer are they pray? If they don't remember the poor, the disabled, you are a caste. If you are a Living in a site whereby we have people with a disability, they sleep hungry, and you are feeding on taxpayers' money. Assuming that they, we don't have, you know, unayaka ni kama kwamba hakuna watu wa inaiyo katika hii inchi yetu. But unajua vizuri sana. So, where is this God of William Samai Ruto? Uyu mungu wa Ruto wapi? Uyu mungu wa Bishop wa, 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 wa Hawa Ruto na ma, ma priestu wake ako wapi? Kama huyo mungu siyo mungu mwenye anajali wale mavu na maskini. Basi huyo siyo mungu tena. If indeed Gashagwa is going to church to pray. And we have people who are coming from Mount Kenya region. Disabled people. Crying for the county government to help them to have food. Then huyo mungu wa Gashagwa. Mwenye huwa na uh, insult raila mungu na kila siku. Ni mungu mgani huyo. Mungu wa dihaki. I want to trust that. This God of uh, uh, William Ruto and and uh, and Rigathe Gashagwa, I think they are praying to a different God, not that God we know, because as a man of God or as a God fearing person, you will be humbled to share what you have with the, such people. You cannot allow such people in our society to sleep hungry. You have to visit them and understand the kind of life they are going through. Sasa, kama tumefika kiwango ya kwamba sasa, people with a disability are demonstrating. Tunaenda wapi? It means the humanity in us is no longer existing. And I know Kenyans have been helping such people in the society in their small way. Ikifika hapa, inamanisa pia hata wale wanunyanduko na wasaidia, hawana chochote. Now they are going to the county government for help. The same William Samai Ruto is frustrating county governments. We have some of the county government that has not received their revenue. Our Japata Pesa, the Akurani county government. Staffs don't have salary. That's what happened to Mefika. He wants to consolidate the money at the national government. So that you become beggars, you people at the county, you go and beg for those uh, Mirandi and all those other things. Rather than giving money to county government so that they can also help to make sure these people are getting something. Now they are coming to cry. They need the government to pay for their rent. It is their right. You must help them get their rent paid off. Or construct houses for them. They are now asking government give us food. It is their right. Democratic right. Wapata chakula kutoka kwa serikali. Na ikeza kana Ruto tumeona akiajiri watu. And we have to see William Samuel Ruto um, appointing anyone with a disability, surely. 
kabineti yake haina mlemavu yoyote ma cs hakuna ps no one these people are a people of lesser god these people are well educated they need a chance they need employment and you know enrolling such people in private sector normally there is problem you will find some people who take few other people when you see them you think they just need a uh, help but not offering them a job the only place that they can secure a job it should be largely in a serikali uh, the government of kenya should be the biggest employer to the disabled people but they are giving them a blind eye that is william samuel ruto for you so tell me he's spending too much money in state house uh, bribing some people here and there enjoying money flying out but people are dying in this country poor disabled widow orphans are dying in the hands of william samuel ruto sasa ile lugha yenye mabaki peke yake ni maandamano maybe he's waiting for keo anaki and then it will be out of his hands to control anything na hapo ndio sasa itakuwa achague either kwenda sugoi ama sijui kule kwengine wenye ataenda hivyo tu